And now it's time when I request the eminent speaker of this session, Sadhvi Dr. Bhagwati Saraswati Ji, to kindly address the gathering. May America say I own Ajne Tais Varsh Purv. And being in India for the last 23 years has been the most incredible blessing. And I mention it today because today we have science or philosophy or spirituality in the bottom of the country. America is the other MIT. But there we learn only the technology of science, of math, of engineering. But here in this MIT we learn the technology of life. And that is what is necessary for our life. Today, I am going to tell you all my brothers and sisters and sisters that that which you are learning from a textbook, whether it is science, whether it is math, whether it is history, whatever it is, they are wonderful. The facts, the information, it's wonderful. But for life, what you need for life is inspiration and spirituality. And that is why we are so blessed to be here at this MIT University. When, when I was given the title for the, the session today, the session ki title deka, it reminded me of one of my favorite stories, which is the story of the men who are in a boat in the ocean. And on the boat, there's a mathematician, a scientist, and a philosopher with the boatman. So the mathematician says to the boatman, Batao bhai, aapko thoda sa math to aata hoga. You must know a little bit of math. If not calculus, at least kam se kam trigonometry aate hoga aapko. So the boatman says, no, I'm not educated in that way. I only know how to take the name of God when I wake up in the morning and at night before I sleep. And the mathematician says, well, then at least 30% of your life has gone in vain. Come say, come, these percent up ki jivan barbad me chalege. Next, the scientist says, okay, maybe you don't know math, but you must know science. You must at least know Newton's laws of physics. So the boatman smiles. He says, no, I'm not educated in that way. I only know how to try to see the divine in everyone I meet, how to give more than I receive, how to move through this world like I'm walking through a holy place. The scientist says, well, then at least 40% of your life has gone in vain. Lastly, the philosopher says, all right, maybe you're not a math and science guy, but at least philosophy you must know. If not our Vedanta, then at least maybe Plato, Aristotle, Kuchto, you must know. So the boatman closes his eyes. He enters this beautiful meditative trance. And he says, I'm not educated in that way. And at that moment, ektufanai, and the waves carry the boat high out of the ocean. And the boatman realizes this boat is going to capsize. He says to his passengers, do you know how to swim? No. They all cry. And the boatman watches as the mathematician and the scientist and the philosopher tragically drown. And he says, I think, a hundred percent of your lives have gone in vain. 
I share this story only because math is wonderful, I love it. Science is wonderful, make good science student hoon. I studied neuropsychology. I love science, love philosophy, but in life, in the ocean of life, when the waves of life come, when we wake up in the middle of the night wondering, who am I? What am I here for? What is my purpose? What is my dharm? That answer comes only in our spiritual tradition, only in our spiritual connection. Yesterday we celebrated Mahatma Gandhi's 150th birth anniversary. And Gandhiji said so beautifully, what is the point of that fast speed that has no direction? Math, science, all of that which we accumulate in facts and figures and knowledge give us speed. And it's wonderful. Honachaye. But without direction, we don't know where to go. Spirituality gives us that direction. When we speak about gyan, wisdom, it's not just a memorization of facts and figures. Plenty of people all over the world, especially in America where I come from, have so many advanced degrees. But rat ko neend lani ke liye goli khani pati. What is what is that that we've accumulated when we can't sleep at night? So spirituality, the real gyan, gives us the grounding, the anchoring, the direction for our lives. And for that, I'm so honored and so touched and so glad to be here today at this beautiful, beautiful event and also to see our His Excellency Dr. Karan Singhji, whose life truly is a Trivani Sangam of excellence, mastery of the philosophy, of the science, and of the spirituality. So to be here while he's honored is such a great blessing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sattvi Dr. Bhagwati Saraswati Ji, for your divine words. Thank you very much.